Welcome to Financial Education. In this video, I'm going to talk about what stock market index is, what different types of index methods are available, and how best known stock market index such as Dow Jones Industrial Average is calculated. Finally, I will show a numerical example as to how you can come up with your own index as Dow Jones. Let's begin. A stock market index is a measurement of a section of the stock market that is supposed to represent the entire stock market. It is computed from the prices of selected stocks. It is a tool used by investors and financial managers to describe the market and to compare the return on specific investments. For example, Dow uses 30 companies, S&P index uses 500 companies, and so on. In statistics language, index consists of a sample of firms and is expected to represent the population. The most common methods of measuring index are price weighting, value weighting, and equal weighting index. The most familiar index, which is DJIA or Dow, employs price weighting methods to construct index. Originally, the DJIA was calculated as the average price of the stocks included in the index. So, if there were 30 stocks in the index, one would add up the prices of 30 stocks and divide by 30. The percentage change in the Dow would then be the percentage change in the average price of the 30 shares. You might wonder why the DJIA is showing approximately 25,000 if it is supposed to be the average price of the 30 stocks in the index. The answer is simple. The DJIA no longer equals the average price of the 30 stocks because the averaging procedure is adjusted whenever stock splits or pays a stock dividend of more than 10% or when one company in the group of 30 industrial firms is replaced by another. When these events occur, the divisor used to compute the average price is adjusted so as to leave the index unaffected by the event. In the same way, the divisor is updated for stock splits. If one firm is dropped from the average and another firm with the different prices added, the divisor has to be updated to leave the average unchanged by the substitution. As of February 1, 2019, the divisor for the Dow Jones Industrial Average is 0.1474807199788. We will now construct an index like Dow with a numerical example. Consider the three stocks in the following table. P sub T represents price at time T. Q sub T represents shares outstanding at time T. Stock C splits two for one in the last period, as indicated in the last row. Now the question. First question, calculate the rate of return on a price weighted index of the three stocks for the first period, which is T equals zero and T equals one. At time zero, the value of the index is, you just add these three prices up and divide it by three, you get 80. At time T equal one, the value of the index is, you add three new prices together, 95, 45, 110, divided by three, and you get 83.33. The rate of return is value in the first period divided by value in the zero period, minus one, meaning you divide 83.33 by 80, subtract one, you get 4.17%. In this example, 80 and 83.33 are your index values. The only difference between your index and Dow is that Dow uses 30 companies, your index uses three companies only, which are A, B, and C. One last thing we should remember is that in this index method, we disregard the number of stock outstanding. Hence, this method is named as price weighting index. Second, what must happen to the divisor for the price weighted index in year number two? In the absence of stock split, stock C would sell for 110, and the value of the index would be the average price of the individual stocks included in the index, which is 
95 plus 45 plus 110 divided by 3 equals 83.33. After the stock split, stock C sells at $55. However, the value of the index should not be affected by the split. We need to set the divisor as unknown D such that 83.33 equals the sum of all these new prices divided by D. Now, if you solve for D, you get divisor 2.34. So, divisor was 3 in the previous example. Now, it is 2.34 because of the stock split. And this divisor 2.34 will continue to use till another stock split information comes in. Number 3. Calculate the rate of return of the price weighted index for the second period, which is t equal 1 to t equal 2. The rate of return is 0. The value of the index remains unchanged since the return on each stock separately equals 0. Thanks for watching.